Hello and welcome to Global Mobis News. I'm your host, Stefan. And I'm MC Young. MC Young will be joining me today in place of Karain. It's been a while, Young. It's great to have you back. It's great to be back and thanks for having me. Of course. Can you believe it's September already? The weather is starting to cool down at last. Fall weather in Korea is the best, right? I love Korean fall. This summer it was so hot that I didn't even have the energy to eat. I'm very excited to get my appetite back. Fall is the best season for food. There is a lot of Korean food that's traditional to Chuseok, which is one of our biggest holidays. Did you eat a lot of Dongpyeon during the Chuseok, Stefan? Maybe a little too much. I might have gained a few pounds of pure rice cake. <laughs> Don't worry, it's also traditional to gain some weight after Chuseok. By the way, did you do anything special to celebrate the holiday? Yeah, I actually spent the holiday at my friend's house, so I got to experience an authentic Korean Chuseok firsthand. It was amazing, but the traffic was insane. Yeah, the highway really becomes a parking lot. I think a four-hour journey took us nearly 10 hours. Korean traffic is legendary over Chuseok, but I think it's worth braving it to spend time in your hometown with your family. Yeah, I bet. And Korea also has some of the best rest stops, so at least the long journey isn't too bad. It sounds like you really did experience a true Chuseok. <laughs> I definitely did. But now we're back on the grind. So, should we start with some headlines? Yeah, sure. Okay. Wow, it looks like there's a lot to talk about today. Yeah, let's get started. Now, our first stop will be Hyundai Mobis Brazil, where we'll hear from Mauro, the commercial manager at this thriving branch. Hello guys, nice to talk to you. I'm Mauro, I'm the commercial manager for Hyundai Mobis Brazil at the redistribution center of parts and accessories. Hi Mauro, could you please tell us a little bit about your career path before Mobis? Uh, as a career, I started in an engineering trainee at Bosch in Germany and then I came back to Brazil and I worked as a production management trainee in a company called Starrett and then I moved to the supply and product development in a company, a Brazilian company called Astra. Wow, that's great. And I think we'd love to hear a little more about Hyundai Mobis Brazil RDC and about your team as well. Mobis Brazil has started its operation in 2012. We are located in a countryside of Sao Paulo state, 150 kilometers far from Sao Paulo city. This is a core location due the proximity to major clients in Brazil and also to Santos Harbor, which is the biggest harbor in South America. In addition, we have a commercial office here in Sao Paulo city for the marketing and training teams. My team is made of sales, accessories, marketing and pricing team with 23 members in total. Yeah, it sure sounds like Hyundai Mobis Brazil plays an important role in South America. Can you explain a little bit about how Mobis Brazil Redistribution Center contribute to the global operations of Hyundai Mobis and to the automotive market in Brazil? Hyundai Mobis is proud to serve a robust dealership network across Brazil, where our generic parts and accessories are distributed directly to over 230 clients nationwide. Our commitment extends beyond Brazil also, with a strong presence in the South America, where we work closely with the distributors. Additionally, we have established a strategic partnership with MMX and MTMI in Miami, also to distribute the spare parts to Central and South America regions. What an important role for Mobis Brazil to distribute parts and accessories in the South America region. I'm sure there have been challenges along the way, right? We understand the importance of providing high quality and reliable components to all the customers in Brazil. Also, since the vehicles in Brazil are high value assets, we understand that the price, competitiveness and availability of the parts are essential to maintain the customer retention. Also, I would like to highlight that is our commitment to combat the illegal trade and the counterfeit of sm and smuggling of parts to Brazil. So we have a dedicated importance and activity to reinforce the brand protection here in our market. That does sound like a lot of difficult challenges. What about some achievements of Mobis Brazil Redistribution Center over the recent years? In recent years, Hyundai Mobis has dedicated to approach the marketed needs and also the new era of digital communication. From 2020, Mobis, Mobis has created its own website and its own social media network in order to enhance the brand awareness in Brazil. Our message is clear. Mobis is the responsible 
for the genuine parts and accessories in Brazil. That's a lot of achievements. Speaking of which, can you tell us about Mobis Brazil's future goals and aspirations? My goal inside Hyundai Mobis is to reinforce the relationship between MBR, HMB, and Hyundai dealers through this system connection and more information exchange between all stakeholders. And as one of my main aspirations here in Mobis Brazil, I would like that Mobis could be acknowledged as the best OE after sales parts supplier. And by having the best team to have the best systems and the leader's confidence, I do believe that we can be recognized as that. It was great to hear all about what's happening at Mobis Brazil, and thank you so much for joining us. Bye bye, or as we say here in Brazil, ciao ciao. Ciao ciao. Ciao ciao. A special day will be held to celebrate 24 years of Mobis R&D tech. Yeah, it's being held at the Uyuang R&D Center, right? Yeah, exactly. For nine days from September 24th to October 4th, this program will feature special exhibitions, experiences, and lectures for employees, partners, and VIPs. And they'll also be able to experience some of the new cutting-edge tech from Mobis. This tech festival will have over 60 new technologies on show. There's also an experience zone that focuses on visions of the future, and there are lectures on the mobility industry prepared for executives and employees. Oh, and don't forget the photo zone, perfect for capturing memories of this experience. Never forget the photo zone. That sounds like a lot for the lucky attendees. Who's going? A variety of people are coming, including group company presidents, OE companies, people from the media, automotive analysts, and even professors. That's for the weekdays, and I heard that there's a special event on Saturday, right? Yes, exactly. After a special draw, we'll invite 50 employees and their families on Saturday 28th. Wow, there's gonna be all sorts of fun for the family, like face painting, balloon art, and even employee cards for everyone. There's also a special internship experience where kids can learn about the new tech and earn stamps, and take part in an interactive art piece called The Future of Mobility, which is gonna be broadcast directly to the media wall. Sounds like a party, but I heard that there are also educational elements to it. Yeah, of course. Kids will be able to experience future science and technology firsthand in junior engineering classes. What will they be making in class? Anti-sleep glasses. No way, you're kidding me. Well, sounds like there's a whole bunch of activities planned. It sure sounds like it. I hope it goes well and everyone has a great time. Hyundai Mobis held M-Sphere 2024, the first M-Sphere exhibition at Uyuang Research Center in Gyeonggi Province. The event showcased new technologies for mobility manufacturing to its sister companies and key partners. I heard there was a lot of people there, right? Yeah, exactly. Over a thousand people attended, including production technology and procurement executives from Hyundai Motor and Kia, as well as representatives from Hyundai Wea, Hyundai Transys, Hyundai Cafico, and second-tier suppliers. <laughs> Oh, that is awesome. What exactly brought them all to M-Sphere? The big draw was the reveal of 42 new parts manufacturing technologies under eight themes, including digital twins using VR, facility control using AI, and quality improvement technology incorporating vision inspection. Whoa, 42 new pieces of tech. Yeah. Sounds like it was an amazing experience for the attendees. Hyundai Mobis really values partnership, which is why there have been so many activities throughout the year to strengthen the R&D capabilities of their partners. Sharing truly is caring, and I can't wait to see what advancements are made. Hyundai Mobis has announced three strategic areas for next-generation core material development. These three areas are sustainable materials, innovative materials, and digital materials. Let's dive a little deeper into these three areas. First up, sustainability. Hyundai Mobis is committed to developing sustainable materials that follow global environmental regulations. This includes recycling resources and using bio-based materials. This is how they developed a protective cover for the lower arm of a vehicle's underbody using 50% recycled plastic while still retaining the properties of existing products. The European Union is pushing legislation that requires 25% of plastic used in the cards to be made of recycled materials from 2030. Hyundai Mobis has developed a new material that is not only six years ahead of the standard but also contains twice the recycled content requirement. That's right. And they're also making moves in the eco-friendly bio sector, developing materials that use wood to reduce carbon dioxide emissions while enhancing weather resistance. Okay, let's move on and talk about innovative materials. Recently, Hyundai Mobis developed a new material 
material that reduces the use of nickel metal in inductors. Nickel is a key component in power conversion for EVs and it is expensive, but Mobis has managed to reduce the required nickel content from 50% down to around 30%. I heard nickel is six times more expensive now than it was a decade ago. This new material is definitely good news if the raw material price keeps rising. Exactly. But there's more. Mobis is evaluating a new material that's completely nickel-free, the first of its kind in the whole world. Hyundai Mobis is focused on developing new materials to enhance competitiveness across all electronification and electrical component fields. Wow, truly leading the way with mobility advancements. Hyundai Mobis is really putting effort into digital material technology. They're simulating and predicting the properties of various materials used in automotive parts to improve compatibility. Plus, they're using AI to explore new materials and build a database of them. So we've covered the three major material development strategies, but what does this announcement actually mean? It means with this new focus, development is expected to accelerate. A proactive approach like this means Mobis can keep a competitive edge and be prepared to respond to any future global environmental regulations, trade disputes, or geopolitical dynamics in the raw material sector. Even during the pandemic, Hyundai Mobis managed to establish a stable supply chain and continue to achieve independent R&D results in new material development. Yeah, exactly. Hyundai Mobis is always looking to the future. The third annual Mohing League has taken place. This in-house gaming tournament is hosted by the Mobis Culture team. Its first outing was StarCraft, followed by League of Legends in 2023. This year, the game taking center stage was Kart Rider Rush. I heard they started recruiting participants in July. The MHL is always really popular with employees. How many people applied this year? There were 285 participants in the solo speed division, with only 8 players advancing to the finals. 141 teams entered the team battle division, with 4 teams advancing to the finals. Wow, those are some insane numbers. And it's so great to see the tournament get so much support. With that many people competing, I bet the finals were quite the event. After fierce preliminaries, the finals were held on September 6th at the Uyuang Research Institute. The whole thing was broadcast live internally, so everyone could watch support and cheer for their colleagues. I think everyone got so into it because the prizes were so good. Yeah, exactly. Top prize was a 6th generation iPad Air, and runner-ups received Sony Bluetooth headphones, and 3rd and 4th place received a Logitech wireless mouse. Oh, that's pretty cool, but a little disappointing for the players that didn't place. No, not at all. All the finalists got coupons for Korean fried chicken too. Oh, really? You know, I think I'd want Korean fried chicken over the other prizes. Sounds like the MHL was a hit. I think events like this are so important in creating a positive work environment. Corporate culture has always been a priority at Hyundai Mobis. And most importantly, have some fun. I wonder what game will be in the MHL next year. I really need to start practicing. And that is all the news we have for you today. Young, it's been great having you here. Thank you so much for stepping in. Thank you for having me. Global Mobis News is a nice change of pace from MBS News. Definitely. And thank you to all of you for joining us today. We'll see you next month with more news. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.